Well, hello everybody and welcome to the King Camp Mountain Cabin. This is our house for this evening and we're going to be camping here in this beautiful spot. New place, new tent and Victoria's here. My hammer. I thought this tent would be kind of difficult to set up because it's all done on tension, but it's actually pretty easy. I reckon it looks pretty cool as well. Finish getting all the little pegs in, then we'll show you inside. Look at this thing, the big canvas house. There's so much room inside here. All right, I got my Alton tarp, and we're gonna try set it up over the tent. I can attach it off this big pole here, and probably to these trees. But I think it's gonna rain later, so we need to make sure we have a little bit of a porch. Not sure if you guys can see on the, the video, but there's sand flies, little bugs, midges, whatever you wanna call them, all around the place. But we came prepared, and I've got my device. It's called a thermocell, so you put these little cartridges in there, and then a gas goes in the bottom. Crank that up, she's going. So in here we've got our bed bases and we've got a new mattress as well so that's going to be exciting. I'm going to set this up and see what it's like. Alright so we've got the bed bases set up. Now I'm just going to clip them together so they don't slide apart. We could go rafting down the river on this. So, we've got our bed set up. So we've got a base, a mattress, and these new sleeping bags to try out. And I'm quite liking this cotton fleecy in it. We've actually got a sofa with us too. This is the, the King Camp, something rather, Smashing Duo. <laughs> cool. In the perfect love making tent. So, we're going to set our sofa up, get everything else established, then get a cup of coffee on, and then I'm going to make a little fire and cook my lunch. But this is quite the unique setup for us. I'm so excited. It's pretty cool. This is a beautiful spot as well. There's a light coming through the trees. You hear the river and the birds. It's amazing.
Heaps of good wood here. It's manuka, so it's really hard. Probably break the teeth off my saw. But I'll cut this up, and then I'll start the little fire, I think. Alright everybody, this is going to be quite interesting because for the first time on this channel I'm burning a different wood other than the beech trees. So this is Manuka, like I said before, and it's very, very dry and dense. So, I'm, got some bark. Yeah, I'm like those guys in Canada who just picked the bark off the trees. How do you like me now, bushcrafters? All right, it's lunch time. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I've got a pretty tasty meal for lunch. I'll give you a close-up. I'm gonna cook these over the fire, some beef, beef skewers. So I'll get my little Elton grill on there and we'll see how it cooks. I think they're done. Mm, that's pretty nice. That's actually really nice. Mm, so good. This is the couch, blow up inflatable sofa. It's really comfortable. I'm just sitting out here in nature, <laughs> on a sofa, looking at the most beautiful views, delicious food. Mm. This is relaxing camping. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I think it might even be starting to rain a little bit. Yeah, there's a few spits coming down, I think. But all is well. And this setup is quite nice. All is well in our house. I'm incinerating my sausages. Uh oh.
it's dinner time and we have some delicious burgers with what is it wagyu and it's truffle wagyu and truffle beef burgers Yum. so these have been sitting in my cooler they're quite cold i'll give you a close-up of these <laughs> these are special burgers i've been wanting them for a long time look you can see that nice fancy packaging truffle wagyu got some cheese for them as well so these are going to be deluxe no expense spared on these burgers <laughs> and i think what we'll do is we'll cook them over the fire on the grill or maybe Sounds in the good. pan on the grill it's got nice coals now and it's quite chilly but the heat from the fire is like coming back under the tarp and like warming us up but i think i have to put on the puffer jacket yeah it's definitely got things in the Bay. Oh my goodness. These burgers, they smell incredible. Wafting aromas. And we've got a usual brioche. Yes, bun. brioche buns. All right, guys, burgers are done. They look exceedingly succulent. We're going to get them off onto the buns and we'll put the other two on to cook while we eat because they do take a while because they're quite thick. Look at that, the cheese has <laughs> melted all over the bun. I mean, the, the burger. Bit of Heinz. <laughs> I'll put it on the top. Heinz spiral. Put the lid on and that is a thicker, more refined <laughs> burger. You know what, this gluten-free bun doesn't look too bad. See that? That's a whopper. Time for the taste test. Mmm. <laughs> you can oh. taste the truffle. The sourdough bun's nice too. Man. A nice tangy truffle flavour. Mmm. Super juicy beef wagyu. <laughs> oh. That's so good. Absolutely delicious, guys. The thick. I personally quite like truffle. Some of you out there probably don't like the taste of it. But I do. Yeah. These are delicious. The Swiss cheese, the nice kind of nutty milkiness of it too. If you're watching, go make yourself a burger. <laughs> Can't wait to take these truffle ones to the top. <laughs> it's already all gone. Dinner was absolutely incredible. But now we're gonna go for a little walk to walk off some of those juicy patties. And we'll go out and we'll show you kind of across the river and like give are. you a sense of where we camped. But man, those burgers, like I said, I cannot wait to bring those up to the tops. This is a pretty incredible spot. We're in this massive river valley. You can just see there's this big rocks everywhere. You could imagine the water would be rushing down here and a big flood, it'd be quite scary. But we're just amongst the mountains. You feel small in a big space like this. 
quite like it here. It's quite cool. These are the marshmallows. Strawberry and jelly filled. It smells like chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there jelly in it? Yeah, apparently. Look at that. So you penetrate the soft surface of this pink marshmallow <laughs> and you put it down over the fire. It's directly, in, it's on fire. <laughs> oh. It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Victoria's far more patient with the roasting process. I just go straight into the fire. Mm. Oh god. Burn your mouth. Melting sugars. Look at that gooey goodness on a little chocolate biscuit. This is inside our giant cabin. As you can see, it's an extremely spacious tent. And I'm sitting on a sofa. The camera's over in the far corner of the tent. And we're on just, yeah, this is our sofa. And the bed is here. We've got these nice kind of big sleeping bag things we're going to get into. But being inside this tent, it's not, it doesn't feel like you're in a tent. They call it the cabin, I think it's, I think it's called. But it is, it's like a luxury cabin. I like it. You can zip all these things back also to be like more airflow. And there's little windows on each side. Which we've got zipped down at the moment, but we might zip them up tonight. Rain's coming, I think. But, yeah, what do you think, Victoria? I'm loving it. This is probably my favourite tent, I think. Your favourite tent? Yeah. Better than the Hilleberg. Right now, I'm liking it more than the Hilleberg. I've got a bed <laughs> that's raised off the ground. I've got a full couch. Yeah, man. This bed, having it's a raised total bed, luxury. is a game changer for it's us. amazing. I'm looking forward to getting into these sleeping bag things. Holy cow, man. <laughs> this, it's not like I'm out in the bush. <laughs> it feels like I'm, what is it like? It's actually, it's, it's like I'm some ancient explorer in my little teepee tent. It's kind of like a safari tent. Yeah. Like I could be out on, I don't know, out on the safari. We are, we're in the New Zealand safari <laughs> and our King Camp Cabana. So that's a waterproof now. I hope. <laughs> I hope so. And, there's the a, and that's the other window there. There's also pretty cool, um, good storage pockets on each end of the tent as well. Oh, nice. This is the most bed like experience I've ever had while being out in the wilderness. <laughs> this is crazy. I was skeptical for a start whether this would be comfortable, you know, when you first take out new gear. New gear, and you're like, oh, Will it be nice? is it going to be good or is it not? And so far, all of this stuff's been amazing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so impressed. Especially this bed sock thing. <laughs> In the it's, whole bed. It's got so much space. Like, look how big this, this <laughs> thing is. Oh, and it's like got sheets inside. It's cozy, real cozy. And it's really warm. This is very unusual for me to be, you know, usually I'm like suffering in a little tent high up in the mountains, hail, rain, snow, thunderstorms. But you know, I thought I deserved a bit of a treat after all the, the suffering that I've been through. 
and this is it. But I think I'm going to have a pretty good sleep. I'll give you the full review in the morning of how how the sleep system works. But I think I should be warm enough, and I think I'll be comfortable too. But it's been a pretty cool camp. I've quite enjoyed just the fully relaxed vibe of being out here. It's still like a remote wilderness location, but very chilled out and very nice. Heaps of tasty food. And it's good to have Faced. yeah, it's good to have Faced Victoria here. But we're gonna go to sleep now, and we'll see you in the morning. I think there should be some rain. We've got a full English breakfast to cook up, so that's gonna be a delight. But yeah, it's all from me. Anything to say? Thanks for coming along, guys, and thanks to King Camp for supplying us with this gear. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. But we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we are up and we're not actually out of the tent but we're sitting here making a delicious brew From the sofa <laughs> <laughs> There was a bit of rain last night which was very pleasant as we were tucked up in our big sleeping socks and I'll tell you what, that bed system is incredibly comfortable. It's hard to describe. Because um, you'd think it wouldn't be, because it's like an air mat on top of two kind of air bases with slats. But I just felt cradled and completely comfortable in it. And it didn't sort of bounce around yeah. like you'd expect having two people in it either. I, was, I didn't want to get up this morning, it was to like, be honest. It was like being in a bed. Man, King Camp knocked it out of the park for that. That's a comfortable bed setup. And I don't know, sleeping in this tent was good. I had a great sleep. Number two, in front of the roaring fire. It's so nice, guys. We've got some gentle rain pitter pattering down on the tarp and on the tent. Not sure if you can hear it, but it's making everything super cozy here. This is my favorite part about camping. The rain coming down, sitting in front of a hot fire. It's so nice. We're gonna cook some breakfast shortly. We've got eggs and beans and what else we got? Bacon. Sausages. <laughs> it's going to be an absolute feast. Alright guys, breakfast time. We're going to get the grill. Over the coals, but this is very, very hot. Which is kind of what you want, you want it hot. Oh, it's too hot. Whew. Burn my fingers. Sausages. So while Abel's cooking the meat over that side, I've got some Watties baked beans and some eggs to cook up. So what I'm going to do is get these beans on first so that they're warm and then I think we'll scramble the eggs today. Actually we've got a little bit of milk to add to those so I'll crack on with it. Victoria doesn't want the bacon. <laughs> so I suppose it's up to me. Eat it all. Victoria's toast. Bacon, eggs, sausages. 
There's beans hidden under there. Brioche. <laughs> it's so much food, it's ridiculous. But every now and then you have a treat, you know. It's not really a full English, but it's close. It's a full kiwi. A <laughs> full kiwi. Need some tomato. Because we're in New Zealand. Needs a little bit of Heinz on here. So yeah guys, the ultimate, the ultimate relaxing camp really. Came out here, tested the new tent. Victoria loves it. Mm. So far it's my favourite tent that we've got. <laughs> it's like a palace. <laughs> it's pretty awesome once it's set up. Mm. Big, spacious, it looks quite cool on camera as well. Sending it up in a storm would be another story, but we'll probably test that one day. We'll see. Well, everybody, it's time to pack up and we'll just cruise on out. The camp has been Pretty cool, I mean, look at this tent, it's quite nice. Beautiful spot, excellent food, and very relaxing. So, I hope everybody enjoyed this experience. We sure did, it was quite fun. It was awesome. But I think we'll be taking this tent out again, and I want to test it in a storm. Not sure if that's a good idea, but, you know, that's what I do. I, I go, reckon it'll handle it. You reckon? I think it's great, yeah. <laughs> but if you like the video, <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe, you know the drill, and I think, it's probably enough from us. We might show you a bit of the drive out, but we'll just pack this tent down, which I'll film a little bit of, and then I think we'll come back to you in the car for a little drive. But, yeah, it's been quite nice. Okay, we're heading out from camp. The pack up was pretty easy, it wasn't too bad. It takes a little bit longer than normal. Nice clearings out here, you may have seen those before. But there hasn't been too much rain, so I don't think we're gonna have any trouble getting out over the stream. But if there was a heavy deluge, there could actually be some pretty big pools here like this. Could fill up with mud. bit muddy. This is like a fake four-wheel drive. Nah, it's real. We have to go through this forest of these. Alright guys, thanks for coming along. It was an awesome trip. Special thanks to all of our members, our subscribers, and everyone who just watches and likes the videos. And also big thanks to King Cam <laughs> once again for looking after us with that setup. Um, it was Really, really cool. I enjoyed it, so we'll definitely be taking that one out again, as long as the king over here allows it. I will allow it. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video, or Ava will. I may not be here, but anyway. See you later. See you next time. Bye.